Hey everybody, call me Felix, and this food episode involves some flashbacks and flash forwards on the freshest fish we got while island hopping in El Nido. It's something most tourists don't know you can do in El Nido, but I'll show you how you can dine on ultra fresh fish on your island hopping trip to El Nido. So, I hope you allow me some creative license on this video and keep watching till the end, I'll make it worth your while. First flashback is to where I left off on my last video of our El Nido food trip. We were at the restaurant at the end of Las Cabanas Beach, wondering where the basil was on our margarita pizza, and if we actually found good Mexican food to down our margaritas with, as in the cocktail, not the pizza with. As it turned out, the basil was yet to be picked from the garden and the quesadillas were a step up from using paste salsa from good old New York City. We also had to walk through a ghost town shopping center that was supposed to be the Rodeo Drive of El Nido if it wasn't for, you know, the pandemic. We needed to cross this creepy husk to get to the restaurant at the end of Las Cabanas Beach. If you want to check out our past episodes of our El Nido escapades, go ahead and click away on the El Nido master playlist on the far right hand corner. And so for this very video, I promised some flashbacks and flash forwards, but let's set the scene first. Our story begins with us embarking on our first island hopping adventure in El Nido. And needless to say, this is the main activity everyone goes on while vacationing in El Nido. We found a well-reputed private tour company in town called El Nido Leatherback Tours to hire a private vessel for the day. And while we're not affiliated with them in any way, we can definitely recommend them. Local El Nido legend Mark, famously known as quote unquote Matt Damon, who you might remember in my rea really old Tour A video, was our guide throughout and we all became good friends throughout our trip in El Nido. On this first day, we were on Tour C, which for me is the most picturesque of the four island hopping tours in El Nido. Earlier in the day, we stopped by Helicopter Island and Hidden Beach and collected some excellent footage on our DJI Mavic 3 drone. After our first two stops, we headed for the Tapiotan Strait, a passage between two islands that give you the feeling you're crossing through a dramatic fjord in the tropics. And it was in this strait we came across a fishing village that's often overlooked for the neighboring Talisai Beach, which is a popular tour sea lunch spot. We asked our guide Mark for some hidden spots that the tourists don't know or that only locals know. This fishing village happens to be one of the various secret local spots guides such as Mark know and in future videos, I'll be showing all the El Nido secret spots we had access to. And so, this is a neat segue into asking you to subscribe so that you'll know all the must-see secret stops in El Nido for your next trip here. Without further ado, here's where our story begins. A fishing village by the Tapiutan Strait where we come across a whopping tanigue or Spanish mackerel for only 615 pesos or just over 12 US dollars, around two to three times below markup of what you get in Manila for the same fish. We're preparing this tanigue two ways as kinilao or Filipino ceviche and grilled simply. Let's start this video off as we're approaching the fishing village and Mark is bellowing out to the fisherman asking for the catch of the day. <laughs> Pabili ng isda, pag-ihaw lang. Isda kayo. Pero niya. Pwede sang piraso lang. <laughs> pabili kayo, pabili. Ha? Kahit isa lang boss, pag-ihaw lang. Kasi nakalimutan namin yung isda. <laughs> Kahit isa lang boss, pag-ihaw lang. Oh, tangigi. Tangigi. Tangigi, sir. That's a first class. Yeah. Yeah. Sa mama na tayo. Ayun lang magkano ba 'yon? Magkano? Alam mo, pressure ng tangigi sa Manila. Si Binadam Hilo niyan, sir. 'Di ba 'yun ang ano, yung gagawin na sashimi? Tangigi. Yan, ginagawa sa sashimi. Saan tayo kuha ng ano? Soy sauce lang kaya, no? O may sauce pero ikaw lang natin. Ano ko sa mo? Ikaw mo magsa sashimi, sir. Kung mo kaya magano din magiwan eh. So so hindi pwede. Ano gusto mo luto? Yung kwa, yung para fresh or you want it? Bili ba tayo ng kilaw? Tangigi. Kilaw, kilaw. Na like kilawin? Ha? Wala suka. Wala suka. Bote suka ko is. Nagbebenta sila suka. Ayun, may suka kayo yung binibenta. Wow, that thing's big. 
Ilan araw na yan? Kau nila ano sir? Frozen ba to? Hindi sir Ano sir? Sariwa to sir, sariwa Okay Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, JP. We didn't show the fine folks at home how we prepared our kinilaw na tanige. Unfortunately, we didn't film footage for our lunch that day on Tour C. However, as luck would have it, we found a bigger tanige at a cheaper price that we did film our preparation for. So, I have a cooking show for you, after all. But first, I have to show you how and where, especially the where, because the where is an extraordinarily beautiful secret island in El Nido that I've been aching to show you. So, let's flash forward to the next day. The next day, we went on island hopping tour A, which includes a kayaking tour of the big lagoon, which at the time was almost fully deserted and kayaking here virtually alone, hearing nothing but quiet and the Palawan hornbill sounds was nothing short of an awe-inspiring experience and something I'll cherish forever. Since our tour A was privately chartered, we got to customize our tour A heavily and we started off our day going northwest, as in as far northwest as you can possibly go and still stay in El Nido. The first stop that morning was a super secret island only locals know, and a rare bunch of tourists, including us, have traversed to called Guntau Island. Actually, it's South Guntau Island, and the beach we landed on has a direct view of North Guntau Island. Just a stone's throw across. Getting to the Guntau Islands takes time. A trip via the traditional banka or outrigger takes over one hour, but because we traveled by speedboat that day, we cut that time in half. The passage between the two islands is comprised mainly of shallow water, rocks, and reefs, which makes docking here tricky for outriggers. The long traveling time coupled with the difficult docking make the Guntau Islands an extremely rare stop for island hopping. And that's exactly why we were very fortunate to have had the opportunity to visit these pristine islands. We took almost a half hour of 4K drone footage of both Guntau Islands with our DJI Mavic 3. And so stay tuned for that drone video, as well as a short beach tour video soon. So once again, a golden opportunity for me to ask you to subscribe for so you don't miss those secret El Nido island hopping tour videos. But anyway, aside from pre previewing the Guntau Islands videos, I'd include this snippet in the story because this place was basically a desert island when we got there and when we left. The only boat we saw belonged to a few fishermen who were still out fishing, but they had a bigger and cheaper tanige to sell us than the one on our tour seed the day before. We left Guntau Island for another desert island, albeit one that's occasionally included in tours as a lunch spot called West Entalula Island. It was here that we cooked and ate our lunch. Because this was a private tour, totally off the clock, we were here for a few hours preparing, cooking, and hanging out. It was such a laid back afternoon having an island in El Nido all to ourselves and not having a single worry about the next stops. We grilled oysters, shrimp, and meat, and aside from the huge ultra fresh tanige we purchased from the local fishermen, we had a local Palawan delicacy that is quite infamous as a quote unquote fear factor food. Of course I'm talking about tamilok, or the mangrove woodworm. That's the subject for another video to come, but what I'm going to spotlight here and back on topic again, I'll show you how we prepared our kinilao natanige or Filipino ceviche of Spanish mackerel. Back to Cousin JP, or more accurately, we're flashing forward to Cousin JP on the preparation of the kinilao. Yeah. Fresh ginger, scallions, and vinegar. Yeah, it's cooking show time. <laughs> I'm doing our island tour. Mark was really good. Mm hmm. Mark now here's Mark the host, host. So here's the problem though. You won't find fish as fresh as here. Oh no, you will not. So it's not gonna taste as good, everyone, if no. you do this at home unless you get some super fresh fish like we did. We were so lucky. Twice, Twice. on two days. I removed all the sinews from it, mm -hmm. all the connective tissue. Ooh, it's gonna be fair. Yeah. Oh god, it's gonna be heavenly. I'm just telling you right now, because yeah. Jangan doy, jangan relax kalah. 
Merlang ini seru Ini kecil sekali sih Tapi misalnya kamu bumat ya Go ahead and take a look at that. That is half of our fish. Mm -hmm. We're adding ginger yeah. and scally. Oh, well, actually, uh, scallions. Just so red onion. Uh, red onion. Red onion, yeah. Red yeah. onion. Yeah, also, well, yes. Shrimp grub. Ooh, grub. Fresh good shrimp. Yay. A secret ingredient to our kilowin. Yes, one must put a lot of seasoning in there. One must. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to leave some of this for South Sawan. Guys, could you possibly have gotten less chili? You know, we love chili. <laughs> so what we call in English in Kerala? In English, ceviche. we just take it from the ceviche. Spanish for ceviche. Yeah, ah, ceviche. Yeah. yeah. Is this ceviche. gonna be enough that I leave for I know Sao 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 this is like very spicy. Have you seen the Leboyo were in Ilocos Norte? They're like this yeah. long. Puya. Why is yeah, it? but this one in, in these Palawan, are really we have popping. how we call uh silly but it's too spicy we call it demonio, de ceiling demonio. Oh it's really ceiling spicy. demonio. Silly oh. demonio. Wow, really? Those are, they, yeah. those are small. They're probably gonna be really like they're like chili pekins probably. They're probably gonna be fruity yeah. and super if you spicy. Like yes. a small one, you feel it's your uh lips just like it's burning. It's mm -hmm. too oh, spicy. It okay. Ceiling uh ceiling demonio. Ooh, well. Can I have some, uh, um, salt? And of course, you gotta put some vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. and that's really the souring agent here. Mm -hmm. It's the citrus that kicks mm -hmm. it all in. Yeah. Do we have some clemency or no? Um, we do, actually. Oh, okay. So we can put some in there. Yes. I don't think that silly demonio is going to do anything. But. Really? I don't know. I think because it's, well, it's a smaller pepper. You never know. You never know. You never know those, sure. how big of a punch it's going to. It might be pure capsaicin at this point. Mm. Hopefully, we'll see. Mm-hmm. It looks delicious. Guys, we have, I know, lemon tea. Or a lemon mm. instead. Limon. Limon. Fresh squeezed lemon. <laughs> Fresh squeezed lemon. I think that's good, no? Huh? Yeah. Until we figure it out. Yeah. Until we can see what the. Mm. Can you have a taste? Yeah, I should. <laughs> yeah, I should. I just had a zester for a lemon zester. So let's mm -hmm. see. Good. Okay. Let me see. Let's try it with my hand then. Salt. I think a little more. Salt. A little more salt, a little more lemon. Mmm. Mm. Oh, very fresh chunk. Wish we had a little more of the chili though. Ooh, there's a little warming heat. We need chili demonio more. Yeah. Yeah, some more zest, I think will. If I had a zester, yeah, it'd yeah. be great. But to get that fresh. Mm hmm. Okay. Let me just do this. <laughs> I don't think I can put enough of this in there. Yeah. No more salt. More, right? Yeah. A lot more salt. Let's let it marinate. Yeah. I think after we let it marinate, it'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you I think like the ginger's good? Well. I like a little more ginger myself. Do a little more crunch. This is ready and let's let it soak. Let's let it marinate. Let's mm -hmm. let it do its thing. Yes. So. Now that we've seen how the kinilau nata nige was made, let's flash back to cousin JP putting the finishing touches on the kinilau nata nige with the ceiling labuyo to the previous day or our present in the timeline of this video. And of course, we've got to taste our kinilau with the grilled half of the tanige. So we're back on our private yacht in the middle of the Tapyutan Strait just off Star Beach, 
set to enjoy our lunch on our first day of El Nido Island hopping. This is the this is the best. The topping of everything. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at that kilo in tangige. Oh my god. Okay, I'm really greedy. I'm gonna take some instead. Come on, JP. Let's try it. Try some now. Let's try it. Ooh. Toast. Toast. To Kangigi Kilowin. Fresh Tangigi Kilowin in El Nido. Freshly caught from the fishermen of El Nido. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. There's no fishy taste. What's going on? It tastes like meat. It's so fresh, that's why. You know how Tangigi kind of has that weird, like, dense swordfish kind of taste? Yes. This one doesn't, doesn't it? It's almost like chicken. Right? That's what I was gonna say. Manok. Oh my god. You guys, it tastes like manok. This tastes so good. Mm, no mm. fishy. Mm. Weird fishy taste. Well, I'm not really gonna review all this food. Because generally, it's consistently <laughs> good. <laughs> but look at Warren, yeah. But you really cannot get this unless we did what we, unless you do what we did. Which is to buy some fresh tangigi yeah. from the fishermen over there yeah, yeah. in the fisherman's village. It was totally, really cool. we did, oh, totally, un, we did, totally unplanned, everyone. Yeah, totally unplanned. And like, this is absolutely worth it. We're gonna have this served two ways. So this is the one way of the kilo win, and we're gonna get the grilled kilo win. Yeah. Or grilled tangigi. tangigi. One big fish, as you could see. 615 pesos, my goodness. No, no. Oh. Let's work on the menu for Bukas. Oh. Help, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Help some menu, Bukas. Oh. Help some menu, Bukas. Oh. You should try this. So flaky. I mean, the tangiga is like, for me, it's like a little tough and it's like too pasty. Oh, wow. Well. So soft. It's soft. You know how it's like pasty and like after a few type bites you're like tired of oh, eating it? Are these chapukis? Oh. Eat your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> fish. fish! We wanted fish! Oh god. It's like a steak. A fish like steak. Mm. I didn't know Tangike was this flaky. I really I didn't guess, know. I guess it has to be fresh. It has to be yeah. super fresh. Ay ay ay. Look Yum. at that fish meat. <laughs> wow, hot. Try this one. Grilled. I didn't thought they were gonna grill the tail, but they really grilled like the mid section up to the head. Which means there's a fat section here. Ooh. The belly. No one. Ooh, so right. hot. Mmm. Is that though? Mmm. It's like a It's so good. It's moist Ooh. too. Look how flaky that is. It's flaking and it's moist. Jeez. Marin, would you say that this is some of the best fish you've had? Yeah, it is. Better than okat okay. okada. Oh. I think so too. I'm sorry, but really the freshness of the fish. You so. cannot beat Look it. Look at how flaky this is. It's crazy. Look how, and also it's glistening because it's moist. Yeah. Who cooked this? You guys did a good job cooking it. This is a fantastic. Mm, yeah. Good idea, huh? Purchasing that Excellent fish. idea. Awesome. From local fishermen, everybody. Straight yes. from the source. Support local businesses. Mm -hmm. Especially here in Palawan. Yeah. My goodness. This, oh. is, this, isn't, this isn't farmed. It's wild. Caught wild by local Palawan fishermen. With local Palawan produce. Mm. Outstanding. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Mm. That's true. That about does it for our $12 Tanige lunch video. And if you're looking to do something few tourists get to do in El Nido, visit a fishing village, especially if it happens to be en route during your island hopping tour. And pick out the catch of the day to get it prepared and cooked for your lunch. If you can afford it, do a private tour as public tours almost always don't offer this detour. Renting out a private boat for a day or two with your barcada is definitely worth it. And for us, it was extra special because there were hardly any tourists around. 
we got to do a few more things and visit a few more places that most tourists miss or only locals know. So stay tuned for more of those adventures to come. Next time on our El Nido food trip, we head back to town well before sunset and fresh off our island hopping tour, we were starting to get hungry. I mean, that huge tanige we had served both ways was easy to digest after all. So we were in search of some hearty food. With few establishments open due to the effects of the pandemic, this was easier said than done. Luckily, we found, of all places, a Ukrainian restaurant in El Nido that has been around for some time and is quite famous exactly because it's a Ukrainian restaurant in El Nido. Odessa Mama serves up a line of craft beer to go with their comforting Ukrainian dishes. And we definitely didn't leave Odessa Mama hungry for sure. So next time, we're getting a lesson on Ukrainian cuisine and a tasty one at that. If you enjoyed this very video, please give me a thumbs up as it helps a lot. Better yet, please subscribe for more of our food and travel adventures and hit that bell icon for notifications so you don't miss a single video. Until the next time, keep cool but care. And remember, the empire never ended.